Hey guys, Happy New Year. Uh, you know, I was just thinking about the, the last year of 2016 and I was just thought it might be a nice idea to kind of look back and reflect and think about the year and the, the, you know, the world of Kendama and just joking. I did want to make a really quick video and share with you guys what I thought were the top five Kendama videos of 2016. Now, again, like my last video, these are the top five videos out of the ones that I saw. I clearly did not watch every Kendama video that was out in 2016. And I also only started playing around June, July. So I definitely missed some, but these out of the ones that I saw, these are my, my, pick for the top five best videos. And I'll, I'll go down the list kind of quickly and just share with you why I picked it, why I thought it deserved a spot on the list. And then at the end, you let me know, you know, if there's a video that you thought also belong on the list. So the first one I want to talk about is the Kendami USA Japan KWC 2015 video. Now this video was, it was from last year, but they only released a video this year. They released it in, in like June or July of this year, which I'm not sure, you know, if it was just a long editing process or if I got shelved or whatever, but it's an amazing video. I was super impressed with this video. Jake Weens did an incredible job really putting together something, dare I call it a masterpiece, very masterfully done. It kind of emphasizes the, the reverence and the awe of Japan and kind of the arc within the video from the introduction through the middle and to the end really brings you on this amazing journey. And honestly, it's extremely inspiring, very well put together, and it's just really well done. I really like how, you know, the players themselves do a lot of voiceovers and talk about certain times and emotions and events and things. I think that really adds a lot and it's not in a lot of other videos. So big props to Jay Queens and the Kendama USA team. That video I think is amazing. The second video I wanna talk about is kind of the other side of the coin from the, K the Kendama USA KWC video. And that is the Chrome Crotokyo Ohm, Crotokyo Ohm, Crotokyo Ohm, the, the, the Chrome Tokyo video from this year. Uh, it basically follows Bonds and Rolf around Japan, and specifically Tokyo. And it's kind of the opposite of the KWC Kendama USA video. It's just goofy, ridiculous, over the top, shenanigans, a lot of fun, really wacky, crazy music. It's just a really fun video. Not that the Kendama USA isn't a fun video, it really is, but this one kind of just shows a different side that's just almost irreverent, but irreverent in a way, a good kind of irreverence within Kendama that you can kind of just goof around and have a good time and, and whatever. So I really thought it was fun. Now you could make the argument, and I went back and forth between, as far as Chrome videos are concerned, between the the Chrome Tokyo video and the Bonds of Tron Pro edit. Could you argue that the Bonds of Tron video is better? Yeah, you could. Uh, I think it's amazing, really incredible video. I actually went back and forth between the two, which one I thought should make the list. And some, you know, I think that the, the, the Bonds Pro edit is awesome and amazing, but for me personally, the Tokyo video just kind of is broader. It encapsulates Chrome and Tokyo and all that stuff, you know, it has a broader vision. And for me, the, I, I like it just slightly more than the, than the Bonds of Tron edit. I, I don't know. For some reason, I just like it a little bit. I got pink glasses and a cat chrome. It shouldn't be a big surprise that three of the biggest, most influential companies in Kendama put out some of the best videos. So you got Kendama USA, you got Chrome. So the third one I want to talk about is Sweets. Yeah! Woo! Sweets. Kendama, again, just like Chrome and Kendama USA, regularly produces amazing videos. So it's very hard to pick just one from the year. So for so for Sweets, I. I decided to pick the Sweet Life MKO edition and I'm kind of going to cheat and put, you know, all of the MKO editions as my choice to take that kind of as a series. I've mentioned it in a couple other videos. I think it's really cool to watch them back to back. The reason I chose the Sweet Life MKO edition is because it takes, again, a, a different approach than the, the Chrome Tokyo video and the Kendama USA Japan video and it's a more it's a vlogging style, talking to the camera, exploring almost kind of a documentary, but touching on all these little moments. And it's a different look, it's a different type of video. So far, if you've noticed, these three videos are all very different. And that's one of the, and that's kind of why I'm putting them on the list. Uh, so the Sweets Life MK Audition, amazing videos. I think they're fantastic. Definitely go watch them all. There's four of them, which is just unbelievable. So. Big props to Cooper Eddy for putting those together. Okay, so the, for the for the fourth video, I want to. So we, we've covered kind of the three three of the biggest companies uh, doing a lot for Kanama. So for the fourth video, I want to mention is not a company; it's an individual, and that is the edit. What an honor to be mediocre with Damon Kirkmeyer, and this edit when it was released 
got a lot of attention. And honestly, the first time I watched it, I didn't get it, but I wasn't watching it very carefully. This edit really encapsulates, really epitomizes the excellence that an individual can, can make an edit. There was so much thoughtfulness put in this edit, there was so much care taken to plan it out, to make it more than just, hey, let's hit some tricks here, here and there in another place. And the way it's also thoughtfully put together is just really impressive, really well done, down to the the tricks, the locations, the tricks are very creative, they're incredible, they're unique to, to Damon, they show skill and creativity, and then, you know, the animations thrown in are just amazing, it just builds this extra layer, and I feel like this edit is one of those edits, it's kind of like a really good song, the best songs in my opinion, you listen to them the first time, and maybe you're like, ah, it's okay, that's fine, but then you go back, and you see more, or you, listen, you hear more, you go back again, and you get more, you go back again, and you get more, and I feel like this edit, what an honor it is to be mediocre is like that. Each time you watch it again, you catch something new and you're more impressed and kind of blown away. So I really feel like this edit just kind of stands head and shoulders above all the edits that I've seen this year as far as an individual edit. Not a big company, he's not sponsored currently, and i just really impressed. So, so props to him, to Damon, and to Sam Allgood. And I think uh, Sam Allgood helped him film and stuff but then uh and get the word out but damon himself did the editing which is also very impressive a lot of and and he just did a fantastic job oh and also check out there's an interview with damon on downspike you should definitely check out it gives some more insight and background and i think it's great i'm not sure if a lot of people have read it but it's definitely worth reading i will link to it in the description go read that go watch the video then read that interview and then watch the video again and you'll be impressed. The fifth and last video I wanna talk about is, this might be a little unexpected, but it's a video called Sponsor Me and it is a parody. I believe it's made by Blake Brown and Jonah Duvall and they put together a Sponsor Me video that is a parody. It's a mockumentary, it's hilarious. They they really pulled it off well. The humor is funny. It, the, when I first started watching it the first time, I don't know if I read the title or not, but I thought it was serious at first and then clearly it's a parody. So go check it out if you haven't already watched it. I don't wanna give it all away because I think it's really funny and they did a great job. That's my pick for, for the, my fifth one. If you can't play Kendama, then stop trying. Stop trying. There you go, those are my top five. If I didn't say it before, they weren't in any particular order. I think all five videos that I mentioned on this list kind of show a different aspect, a different style of video, kendama, edit, whatever you wanna call them. They're all a little bit different and I think that's what makes them really cool. Let me know guys, do you agree with my list? Do you disagree? What video was missing from the list in your opinion? What did I miss? Uh, please let me know. I wanna know, tell me in the comments. Link to other videos so I can check them out because clearly I didn't see all the videos in 2016 and I wanna know what you guys think, what your opinion was. So again, happy new years. Hope you guys had a great 2016 and I will see you in 2017. Laters.